Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is HDL Cardiology Lie Renounced. This article is part of my series on tyranny of belief without observed evidence. Please watch other segments in this series. In May of 2012, Lancet from England, I consider it to be the most prestigious and reliable medical journal in the world, published a study which exposed this lie of HDL being a good cholesterol. Those who control thinking among cardiologists, and they are really fear profiteers, have forced their standards to prescribe statin drugs to lower cholesterol by dividing cholesterol into LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and HDL, the so-called good cholesterol. This is a vicious lie it's a belief system based on no observed evidence. There's only one cholesterol. This is such a crucial subject that I have done several segments on this encyclopedia as well as written several articles posted on wiki-medical.org as well as on kids123.org, the official website of Children's Health Corps. I think it was about two years ago that Academy of Pediatrics in the United States issued standards that children should be screened for cholesterol with the purpose, of course, of drugging them with cholesterol drugs. That was a shameful transgression. When New York Times on May 17th of 2012 ran a front page story that a major studies disclosed that there is categorically no truth that HDL is good cholesterol or it protects anyone. Cholesterol is cholesterol is cholesterol. There's only one cholesterol. What the New York Times could not do was to swallow a lot of fraud because for decades it's been spreading the lie of the fear profiteers in the field of cardiology. That cholesterol can be divided into two and we can drug people because their LDL, so-called bad cholesterol, is high. But the New York Times, the lap dog Joes of New York Times, never had the courage to say, but there are people who've been writing about it for decades trying to explode this myth and this blatant lie. So still I'm happy that New York Times, by putting it on the front page, is renouncing this lie which has been prevalent in cardiology thinking for decades and it has led to a lot of people sickened by statin drugs mindlessly, thoughtlessly, robotically. Again, please look at the other segments on this channel entitled The Tyranny of Belief Without Observed Evidence. These are important subjects for our children. These are crucial matters for our future generations. If you are sick and your liver is injured by statin drugs and you're tired and your genes in the mitochondria have been injured by statin drugs, Lipitor, Zocor, Provacol, Crestor, then I will tell you that your children have also paid the price for this. Children Health Corps, a foundation funded and founded by Talat, my wife and I some years ago, where the, we had a vision and a mission to provide authentic information untainted by corporate deception as well as by 
illusions of ideologues in medicine who are not very well read, they are not diligent, they are not thoughtful. I don't know what motivates them. But they also spread lies. If you support our vision, please forward this YouTube segment to your Facebook, LinkedIn, email, Twitter contacts. Maybe by doing this, you will save some parents from the tyranny of having to drug their children because an in, ill-informed Ill pediatric cardiologist prescribes the statin drugs for them. Or perhaps this segment will not only be good for your children, but also your children's parents, which means you. Thank you for joining us. Please visit our website, www.kids123.org. It has a lot of useful information. Should you wish to participate in our vision, there is also a page, How Can I Help? Just Google that page, How Can I Help? Add Kids123 and you will get there. Until we meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you.